Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to migrate over from a built-in remix server over to a custom one. And today we'll be doing uh, Hono.js. Hono is one of my favorite servers and I really like using it. And that's why we'll be moving over our remix server over to that. And without further ado, let's just get started. The first thing we need to do is we're going to switch over to the browser and I'm going to show you how we're gonna set up Hono on our Wheat Remix setup. So the first thing we're gonna need is this React Router Hono server and this is built by Rafael and we're gonna use this npm package to basically bootstrap our Hono server and if we go through the documentation here you can see that you need to install React Router Hono server so let's head back and do that right now. So we're gonna run npm install Hono, Remix Hono and React Router Hono server. Alright, and now that that's installed, we're gonna go back to the docs here and let's see what's next. So, we need to create the Hono server and we're gonna go into the entry.server here and we're gonna create the server by importing this export from React Router Hono server and we're gonna create our server. So, let's do that right now. So, we're gonna go to our entry dot server and we're gonna start our server so what i'm gonna do here is first of all this file is located on my repository that i'm gonna link in the description below but what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna import the create hono server here and at the bottom of the file i'm just gonna export const server and that's gonna be our create hono server function for now we're just gonna save this and we're gonna switch back to the browser so we can go ahead with what we need to do. Alright, now that we're back here, we're, we're gonna skip these parts because that doesn't matter for us. But we need to add something to the Wheat plugin. And that's to target ESNext as the build. We're gonna switch back now. We're gonna go to our package.json or rather our Wheat config. And here we're gonna say build target ESNext. And this will allow Hono to be bundled with our Remix app. And another thing we need to import here is the dev server from React Router Hono server slash dev. And we're gonna add it here. So dev server. And we're gonna save this. And if I run it now. Oh, and before we do that, I just remember that in the entry.server we need to await this. And we're gonna save this. So we're gonna run npm run dev. And as you can see, this doesn't work. It says unknown error object response. So the reason behind this is because here where we resolve, we say new response. And this actually doesn't work with Hono properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop this and we're going to do the following things. First, we're going to create a new function and the name of the function is going to be const get load context. So what this function is going to do is it's going to take context and this is from the Hono package. And what it's going to do is it's going to create our context that we're going to be able to use in loaders and actions. First of all, we're going to fetch the locale of the current request. So we use the i18 next and the i18 next we want to use is from remix hono slash i18 next so let's go at the top of the file and import that so this is the import we want to use but we are already importing this from localization so we're going to change this to be i18 next config and we're going to use that here and here as well but i think we're going to change this as well later on so Let's leave it as is now. So we're going to take this and we're going to go to the bottom of the file. And here we're going to say get locale. And we're going to give it the C here. And then we're going to get the T function. So i18 next dot get fix T. And again with the context. And then because we've set up the client environment. We're going to get it from get client environment. Because we have init environment here we're gonna say const environment is equal to init environment and back down here what we're gonna do is we're gonna return all of the things we just created so locale t and client environment 
and another thing we're gonna return is body from context.body the reason we need this c body is because the entry function here the handle request has a fifth parameter and it's called load context and its type is the app load context from remix run slash node or whatever you're using so this is going to be used instead of the new response here and we're gonna say whoops load context dot body and because this isn't typed we're gonna say ts expect error and this is completely fine because we know it's set in the load context so this can't fail and what we're gonna do is we're gonna type the app load context now so the way we type it is we're gonna say interface load context extends awaited return type of type of get load context so the reason we do it like this is because that way whenever you add something in here as a return type it's going to get added into the load context automatically and then we're gonna declare a module and this will be our provider so node and we're gonna say interface app load context extends the load context but actually what we're gonna do is because we don't want developers to use the body from the context we're not gonna type it so that means that we're gonna omit from load context the body part and that is how we type the load context so what does this mean because we have all of this in the load context these three will get typed in the load context but this won't and if we add new properties here that will also get typed but the body won't because it's only used here to respond to the request and that's it so we don't want to use it for anything else and this is great but this won't work here with the context because we still haven't configured our i18 plugin for this server so the way we do that is we say configure and that gives us the server as the first parameter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a middleware and that middleware is going to be i18 next and it's going to take our config that we renamed earlier and we just applied a middleware to our server that's i18 next you can apply additional middleware and we're going to register our get load context here and this is basically this function and now that when we save this and run the project and we clear the console and run the project we get these issues so the reason we get these issues i'm gonna cancel this and we need to change our handle request here so first of all we're not we're gonna remove this language stuff because we don't really use it anymore and everything that comes with it and we're gonna use the language from the load context because we already loaded it in the middleware on the server now we can just take that one and use it here instead of calling it inside of here and we're gonna save this and then inside of our root here we don't need to do this anymore we just remove this and we take the context and then we can just do context dot locale and as you see this is already typed for us and actually we're gonna remove this as well so this will be locale the client environment like i said it's in the context so we can do client environment and now we can save this we can remove the params save this as well and then run this and another important thing before you actually run this is you need to delete this and then save it and we're gonna run dev and as you can see it says no route matches this so what we need to do is we're gonna say to the dev server so here we're gonna give it a config that to exclude and the regex we want to exclude is resources and we're gonna save this and now if i run the app again here we go we're successfully migrated to honojs 
and if I switch to the browser you can see that the app is running as it should and if I refresh this it works fine so if I switch back to VS Code I'll keep refreshing the app as you can see it's going through Hono and that's it so the cool thing about having Hono now is if I go to the entry.server or rather if I go to root I have the loader here and then this context contains a bunch of goodies I can use so for example uh, client environment is here locale and t so I can do something like context t and then say I don't know some key and then get the translation on the server side I can for example go back to the entry.server and let's say I want to add the environment and that environment is from here because this is running on the server and the context is only available in loaders and actions I can actually pass the environment here as well and for example if you wanted to connect a database you could do something like const db is equal to db from the ser server and then pass it into the db here and it would be available in the context and because we already have the database what we can do is for example import db from dot server slash db and this is not db but prisma sorry and then we can pass that instance here so for example we can just say db is prisma and then inside of here we can do something like const db is equal to context db and i can do db whatever user dot find first whatever and that's it it's really simple now to set up Hono on Remix and this plugin that I just showed you allows you to do that in like under three minutes and by default Remix uses Express if you want to use Express there's a plugin for that as well which is almost the identical approach to this one and it was inspired by the, by the Express plugin and you can use that one as well it's really up to you I just prefer Hono but there's nothing stopping you from using anything else and that's it for this one if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments down below if you have any requests you can request away and if you like the video consider subscribing to the channel and that's it for today thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye